All right, we're back. So we're in the waypoint ruins, and let's check out what's the sound down here. This doesn't look good. I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, mad pumpkin head. Okay, well, the Mad Pumpkin Head wasn't really that... that crazy. Seems like more of a beginner boss. Still, nice fight. And we have a Grace Sight as well, excellent. What more can I ask? So, how many runes do I have now? Oh, okay, we can level up again. Maybe I should take a bit of endurance this time. I've never done this before. Yeah, equipment load as well. I tried out some uh, more weapons in my second and third armor armament slots, and uh, I was too heavy, basically. So maybe we should pay some attention to the stat as well. Confirm. There we go. Oh, there's something else here. There's a door. Okay. Who are you? Tarnished, are we? I wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Well, let's check out what she is offering. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. <laughs> oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria, as a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, is... hmm... Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone Sorcery. But I refuse to coddle, or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Nod in thought. Ooh. Glintstone Pebble. Fire magic projectiles. Three shooting stars. Oh, we actually saw these in the Magic Village. 
I was killed by these. Yeah. So obviously I lack the intellect for these. And I'm probably not gonna level that up anyway. But good to know that this is here. In case I change my mind. So she is here. Very good. Oh, not these guys again. Hell no. Right, so I should uh, figure out what's my next point of interest. Where do we get the map for this section of the... Well, the map. <laughs> I don't know. I can remove this now. There we go. Hmm. Where should we go? Well, there is a road leading here. So maybe we should explore like this area. Somewhere here. And also I should go down this uh, ravine and check out what's there. Yeah. So let's see maybe this side. Yeah. There is a lot to do in this game. It's much bigger than I previously thought. It looks like this is just the first 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 area of the of the big map. So it's gonna get even bigger. At some point also I need to go back and kill that uh, that dragon and the tree sentinel as well. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh no! What's this? Oh, these are easy. Falcon. Yeah, just the their screaming scared me, but yeah, these are easy. Let's see the Falcon. Curved sword. It's uh, nothing. Remarkable. A curved sword with a single-sided blade. Delivers slashing attacks with its sharp blade, but it's ineffective against thick armor and hides covered in tough scales. Wielders of the weapon employ a unique style that enhances attacks with spinning motions. And skill is spinning slash. Skill favored by de dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Okay. At some point I'm gonna take some more time to read all of those descriptions of all the items. But maybe that's gonna happen at the end of the part. We'll see. 
Anyway, carrying on. So this forest area I'm gonna explore a bit later. Seems like a huge part of the map by on its own. Not these again, nope. I'm traumatized by that horse warrior. Ah, okay, so this is the ravine. Whoa, almost fell down again. Let's this time maybe not do that. See, and that's why I, I'm traumatized by them. Anyway, it's fine. Because I barely had any drones on me, and we're not very far away anyway. We are pretty close. Also thinking I'm probably gonna head to the the castle, the keep soon, because I've been avoiding that for quite a while now. Maybe it's time to go there. This fucking guy. Caden Gauntlets. Right. But so far all the all the gear I'm getting, all the set items I'm getting are pretty crap. I looked at them and they are heavier and protect me even less than this set, so I don't know. Doesn't really seem worth it. Let's maybe this time save uh, in this grace site. Just in case. This one is closer. So if I was able to interact with the with the the carriage over there, then maybe there is something in this carriage as well. I never thought about this. Let's quickly take a look. I think it's this this side. Yeah. This is the back. Oh yeah, I think so. There's something there. There we 
go. You gonna come or what? Oh yeah! <laughs> I didn't even notice this before, yeah. A flail. So maybe in the other one there near the keep. Maybe there's something there too. I'm pretty happy that I discovered this uh, this new mechanic. Not not a mechanic, but new, this new thing. Yep, there's something here. Oh my god, I feel so stupid now. Lord... Lord Sorn's great sword. I think before I got Lord Sorn's short sword. Let's see. Yeah, Lord Sorn's straight sword and Lord Sorn's great sword. Holy crap, the damage is actually pretty good it's better than my katana maybe better okay nine kilos or whatever measurements we are using in this game Looks like the flail is a dexterity weapon. And... Uh, this one is strength. Let's try it on. Looks pretty decent. Hmm, I don't know. Seems a bit, uh, a bit slow. Maybe because I am... Uh... Let's see. Whoa. Those are some heavy attacks. I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. I'm gonna switch back to my katana for now. So if if strength weapons are kinda slow, then maybe I'm not gonna use them. Maybe I'm gonna stick with dexterity after all. I'm kind of feeling like I like the more quick slash playstyle better. We'll see. What is that? Something's roaring there. Oh. What is this? 
No, that wasn't the thing that was roaring. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? What is that? Dude, I'm... I'm terrified now. What is that? Not you again. these guys okay what the hell is that lightning what's happening here what was that that uh, roaring sound for yeah that what is that what the hell Folger bloom That's that's interesting. That's very strange. Oh, it's the troll up there. That's what's roaring. Okay. I feel better now. Slightly. Is he the one casting lightning on me? Probably not. I don't think they can cast magic. about this uh, this piece of piece of ruin really seeing much here. Is this like permanently here, the lightning? What? Why are you attacking me? I'm not even attacking you. I'm not touching you. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, I think we can jump up there with this uh, gust of wind. All right, we we might try that, yeah. Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't sound good up there. It's full of trolls.
What about here? Well, you can roar, but you can't touch me, so... Smithing stone. Yeah. Oh, holy! Okay, he can jump down. Okay. Okay, he wants to throw down. I can oblige. did I get from this skill? Not sure. Thousand maybe? So... I think that tip might be about these trolls. Maybe they are... their heads are their weak spots or something. I think it was... the note said something about their heads being old wound or something. Yeah. But it's hard to get their head because they are so high up. Anyway. These don't really give me much trouble usually. Whoa. Okay, first stutter I've ever had. And this just leads back down here, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm th I think I'm gonna keep that uh, upper side for later. Because it looks like I'm gonna go there anyway when I enter this uh, storm gate. So maybe. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? Well, there's two options, I guess. We could either go down this ravine and explore that, or we could go back and try to kill the tree sentinel or the dragon. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back. First of all, let's go back to back to back to the what was this place called? I forgot. But let's travel there. Round table hold, right? Let's speak with these people again, and let's uh, maybe buy something from the vendor. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? I could get one of these, but magic doesn't really appeal to me that much. And I can only get one of these. This heal. Small amount of HP, eh, probably not worth it. Or I could take the fire magic. Also only this one. Which doesn't really sound very strong. Yeah. May the golden order shine through you. Yes, same for you. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more 
should you spy a mariner among their number. Right, he already said this to us before. What about you? Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman. She's a servant to my husband. Yeah. Like Lania. Honestly. How do we get down there? Oh, maybe I can... Hmm... Well, first of all... Before we jump down there... Let's... Uh, check out everything else here. Yeah, the blacksmith. Oh, and this lady. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Hmm. Where I come from, it is a sacred act. I think I'm gonna let her do this. I can hug her. I still don't like how the sharing the vigor part sounds, but okay, let's let's just risk it. Baldekin's blessing. Wait. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Hmm. Alright, but I think we just lost a small sliver of HP. I'm pretty sure, I might be mistaken, but I think we did. And what's the item we got? Baldekin's Blessing. This one. Uses FP to temporarily boost poise. Huh. Yeah, we could try that out. Maybe at a boss fight or something. Favor bestowed by a deadbed companion. Protection of hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death there is only peace, for in death there can be no sensation. Yeah. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. And I noticed we can duplicate the ashes of war. That's not bad. I'm not going to level up my weapons anymore for some time because I feel like maybe we're gonna get something that I will want to change to so I'm not gonna spend materials for no reason not yet anyway oh this is open now it was closed before Do you need? I have little time to spare. Ah. Uh. Then you 
would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These Nambi Bambi Tarnish think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Hmm. Okay. Shard bearers. I'm guessing those are the the big bosses in the game. Right. Because so far we haven't been following the golden thread of light, of grace. Okay, let's see what... oops. Let's see what they have. Yeah, I was gonna buy something here, I think. Not the long swords. I really would like to get a spear. But this one doesn't seem that great. Maybe we're gonna find something later. The heater shield. I really want to pick this one up because it has 100% physical damage negation. Yeah, let's do it. It's not that expensive. Battle axe. Hmm. Maybe... Screw it. Why not? We can try those out later. Okay, so for now I think that's about it. Oh, maybe I should try to jump down. I'll try to jump down there. I'm gonna probably die. Wait before I do. Whoops. My bad. Yeah, no spells. Okay, so. This might kill me. Oh. Okay. So, what do we have here? Invaded by my Mad Tongue Albrick? What? Reverential Bow. What the hell is going on? Oh no! What's happening? Frostbite? That magic's pretty crazy, so he conjures up a 
feel the frost around him and I basically can't approach him until it's gone because otherwise, yeah, he's freezing me all the time. Something weird is happening with my controls. I'm like glitching out. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm gonna restart the game. You know, fuck it, I'm gonna try to kill this guy. <laughs> 16 runes. Not really that great. Okay. Wow. So I guess that's what I get for attacking him while he's while he's bowing down to me. Yeah, see, I'm glitching all around. What the hell is going on? My controls are... like, my inputs are... Screwed up right now. Okay. Whoa. That's something. Oh, he also heals. That's horse shit. He has all kinds of magic. Interesting. It's hard to fight this guy because my controls are glitching. And okay, I'm, I'm sucking as well. <laughs> Let's be honest. And maybe yes, he's a bit too, too strong for me now. Uh, not sure. Let's try one more time and then I'm gonna quit and do something else. And I might also have to re restart the game because something's not right here, obviously. If he wasn't healing, I could take him down, but yeah, he has a he has a skill set of a player. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna restart the game and then we're gonna continue from that. So yeah, see you then.